Hi guys, I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. I wanted to pop in here because in some of my chats with some of you individually, um, I wanted to give a little bit of encouragement. So the first thing is overcoming no's. You are gonna get no's when you invite. It's just the truth of it. Um, and in fact, if you're not getting no's, that means you're not getting yeses because you're not asking, is what we like to say. And so I just want to kind of help you with your mindset when you hear the word no. I remember the first couple of times I heard no, and even for the first year, um, I didn't really understand the process very well um, and didn't have the right mindset. And so when I heard the word no, I was offended and struggled and it would make it hard to do the next invite. And so what I want to tell you is write it down, put it somewhere so that you can have it where you can see it and remind yourself of this daily. They are not saying no to you personally. They are saying no to the opportunity. So again, they are not saying no to you personally. They are saying no to the opportunity. And so it's a belief thing, right? Um, one of the things that I tell, have been telling my coaches for the last year was I struggled to invite privately because I was afraid of hearing that word no. And then I realized that I have a business. And if I owned a business in town, I would not be afraid to invite people to it. If they didn't come, I wouldn't be offended. I just know that means they don't need what I have, right? Or they want to try something else. Um, maybe they want to try the other gym in town or something like that. And so that's not an offensive thing. They're saying no to the opportunity. And so you have a business. You have something to offer people. And so that's why we have to invite. We have to invite people to it. If you never invite, you can put advertisements, all that kind of stuff. They might not ever see it. So it's up to you to privately be inviting them to the opportunity. And so um, typically what happens, it takes one in, for every 10 people you invite, you'll get one yes. And so that means you need to be asking just more people. So if your goal is three people this month, which it is, that's everybody's goal, um, then you need to invite at least 30 people, one in 10. And then the other thing is, it takes people about seven times of seeing it for them to be ready to commit. So maybe it's like they see it in your stories seven different times, or they see it on your newsfeed, and then they see an invite, and then you re-invite them and follow up. So if, they, if you invited them and they didn't respond, four or five days later, you're gonna go back in and message them and say, hey, listen, I haven't heard back from you. I know how it is sometimes. I'm busy. I read a message in the middle of something and then I for totally forget to respond. Would you like to hear or would you be open to having more information about my um, next boot camp or my, my what is coaching group or you know whatever it is you're inviting to. So use that. Um, at the end of the month, we're going to do, um, I'm going to have you guys help me run a free challenge because that's something that's a little bit easier to invite to. And then in the process of that free challenge, that's where I also then invite them to the boot camp. So we'll um, plan something for that so that you guys can help run that with us. Um, but you saw that I posted the um, that next Monday, we're going to have a lunch and learn. So it's an opportunity for you to invite to people um, to the coaching opportunity and put them in that group. And then that's not something that like you then have to explain all of it. So since you're new coaches and um, you might not feel like you can talk comfortably about what we do as coaches and all that stuff yet, putting them in that group is a great opportunity. And then you follow up with them and see if they have questions and things like that. So it's a great opportunity for you um, to utilize what we offer as a team. Um, the second thing is overcoming objections. So they might say, no, it's too expensive right now. I don't leave that. Um, very rarely do I read that. Um, do I just leave that alone unless if I really know the financial situation of the person I'm talking to. Otherwise I say, yeah, I know for me, or I say something like, yeah, when I started, we were living in my parents' basement. We were living paycheck to paycheck. My husband was in school full time, but it was really a lot cheaper for me than going to the gym. Um, it was like 
what cost me for three months, I can pay for the whole year here. Um, you know, like a three month membership at the gym. I cover that in just this one payment. Plus I'm getting 30 meals a day or 30 meals, um, for the whole month covered, um, that kind of thing. Or the Shakeology same thing. Sometimes my response is if they say it's too expensive for Shakeology, I say, yeah, I thought that at first too, when I was looking into it, but, um, now I no longer stop at Starbucks every day and it's actually cheaper than my daily Starbucks was or, you know, Dunkin' Donuts or whatever it is or, you know, that kind of thing. So those are kind of the things um, that I talk to but uh, um, about. And then the time thing. And then I was like, you know, so people say, yeah, I'm not sure I have enough time for um, exercising right now. Then you'll say, yeah, I totally get that. That's The gym used to be like that for me. I'd have to travel to the gym, then work out, then travel home and shower, da, 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 da. Before I know it, I spent an hour and a half where this is just in my home. It's 30 minutes a day. Or the same thing with coaching. If it's too much time, I just say, yeah, I've really learned to work in pockets of 15 minutes throughout my day. Um, so it's not too much in my plate, but it's all about what you want. And I'm willing to sacrifice sacrifice some of my time to um, reach my goals. Like, and so that doesn't mean that they are going to say yes, but what that does is it kind of puts that over, like talking about those objections. And then the other thing I'll do is I'll talk about objections in my stories. I won't necessarily say like, here's the objection. And sometimes I do. Yesterday I did with my stories. I said a common objection I get from people is that it's too much time. Well, here I am working full time, da, 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 da. Um, and I shared a little snippet of something that I did during the day. But um, sometimes I just say, you know, like the cost and da, da, da. you know, you share about the cost and how this really helped you in that way. And that's overcoming an objection. Um, so the other thing behind objections, sorry, I lost my train of thought, is that you have to have the mindset that you believe in what you're selling and you believe with, in this product. If you believe in that, um, you'll you'll be able to help talk through those objections a little bit more but i truly believe our products are life changing i know that because they've changed my life um that struggle that i used to have daily to not eat um or like not try to not eat very much so that i could lose weight and it wasn't like i wasn't anorexic but i just try to eat as little as possible um and then i like not see progress and i really didn't know what it was but i lived like that for like 10 years i lived like fear of the like fear of the scale for 10 years um and it was frustrating and so um when you believe that and when it's changed your life, that comes through. And so those are things that you talk about. Those objections or your struggles are what you're going to talk to about, and that's how they're going to relate to you. Um, later this week, I'm going to post an, um, a little video about Instagram um, to kind of help a little bit more with your own feeds and that kind of stuff. But um, yeah. And that's what we're talking about tomorrow in our team call too. Just a little bit more about how to talk about coaching, how to talk about what you're doing, how to talk about your journey, and how not to talk about it. <laughs> so um, I hope you all can make the team call tomorrow night. This just was meant to be a little bit of encouragement to you.